Hi, in this video I'll be talking about logical equivalence. In particular, I'll be answering two items. Show that the given statement is logically equivalent. These questions were actually taken from rules of replacement. In particular, number one is De Morgan's Law, and number two question would be dealing with associative law. So let's proceed. Before I start, I need to practice with my truth table. So let's check it out. This is the conjunction and. This is the compound proposition disjunction or. Exclusive or. Implication if then statement. Biconditional if and only if statement. And the negation not. So if we have a conjunction and, the condition for this compound proposition to be true is that both P and Q should be true. So this is true and the rest would be false. Next, disjunction or. The condition for this compound proposition to be true is that at least one of P or Q is true. So this is true, 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 and false. Exclusive or. It's very exclusive. The condition for this to be true is that there should only be one true. So this is true, and this is true. The rest would be false. Implication if then statement. The only condition for this compound proposition to become false is that when P is true and when Q is false. So this is false. The rest would be true. By conditional statement, P and Q needs to be the same for it to become true. So this is true because they are both the same and this is also true because this P and Q has the same truth value and the rest would be false. For the negation of proposition P, we simply negate the value of P. So this is false, false, and true, true. So I'm done with my practice. Let's now proceed with the logical equivalence question. So for number one, there are two sides of the statement, the left side and the right side of the statement. Check how many propositions. So there are only two, so meaning your first two columns would be the two propositions. Next, work on the left side of the statement. So work on the simplest quantity. This would be P or Q. So this is the column. Then followed by a negation of that column. So this would be the next column. Then after that, go to the right side of the statement. Start working with the simplest proposition or logical operator. So we have a not P. This is the column. Not Q. This is the column. And then the combination of not P and not Q using conjunction and. So this is the column. Then finally, you work with a biconditional statement. That would be the last column. So let's do it. We place the truth values for P and Q. So there are four possibilities. True, true. This is true and false. This could be false and true. And this would be false and false. Now this is P or Q. So this is an OR statement. True, 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 false. At least one of the propositions should be true for this compound proposition to be true. Next, we negate that column. So we have false, 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 and true. And then we have a NOT P. So we negate proposition P. So this is false, false, true, true. Go to this column. We negate proposition Q. So this is false, true, false, true. Then we combine these two columns using conjunction and. The condition for conjunction to be true, both propositions should be true. So the last row is true, the rest should be false. Then finally, my if and only if condition pairing up this column, the left side of the statement and the right side of the statement. Let's do it. Now for biconditional to be true, both propositions should be the same. So we have an F and F, they're the same, so that means they're true. F and F, the same, so that means the biconditional statement is true. F and F is the same, true and true is the same, so therefore all of the results are true. And this is actually what we call tautology. So if you have a result of tautology, therefore, you are able to show that the left side is the same with the right side 
of the statement and they are logically equivalent. Once again, this is the De Morgan's Law, so definitely the result should be tautology. Next, we go to number three. Number three is the case of associative law. So how do we work this out? First, we inspect how many propositions we have on this statement. So I have P, Q, R, P, Q, P, R, meaning I have only three propositions. So the first columns should be the single propositions, P, Q, R. Then after that, we start with the left side of the equation. We start with the simplest form, the quantity P and R. So this would be the column then followed by the combination of P or the quantity Q and R. So this would be that column. As you notice, this is now the left side of this equation. This F or this column here is the left side of the equation or the statement. On the right side of the statement, we also work it out on the simplest form. We have P or Q, so this would be the column. We have another P or R, so this would be the column. And now the combination of this column using conjunction and, so this would be the column. So this would be your right side statement. And then finally, we work it out with the whole statement using the biconditional if and only if. Let's start. First, we lay down the resulting truth values if there are three proposition so this should be true 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 that's the first case second case true true false third case true false true fourth case true false false the fifth case would be false true true sixth false true false seventh false false true and the last case, the 8, would be all false. So notice there is no repeated case in this truth values. Now let's work it out with the columns. Let's start with conjunction QR. Our reference would be this column Q and column R. And this is an end statement. Both should be true to become true. So both true, both true then the rest would be false all right so again referring to this q and r operator is n both are true that's why it's true both are true that is true the rest is false next we combine p or this column we are using a logical operator or the condition for this to become true is that at least one is true so let's work it out. This is true, 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 true. And the remaining would be false. So I'm done with the left side of the statement. Now we work it out on the right side of the statement. We have a P or Q. P or Q. So it's an OR statement. At least one should be true to become true. So let's do it. So this is true, 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 true. This is true and true, false, 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 false. So this is false and false statement. Let me just double check it. Okay, now we pair up P or R, this column P and this column R. Let's do it. This is an OR statement. At least one should be true. So this is true, 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 and true. This one is false, false, so that's false. This one is false, false, so that's false. Okay, I'm done. Now we combine these two columns using conjunction and. And this is an and statement, so both propositions should be true to become true. So this is true and true, so that's true. True, true, that's true. True, true, that's true. True, 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 so this is true and true. Then the remaining should be false false and false another way of doing it you can actually use the formula for Google sheet it has a formula called end so let me just show you this is end open parenthesis and we pick the first column equals 
open quotation capital T the value close quotation and comma we click the second column equals open quotation and this is the value T close quotation then press enter and it actually gives you the real value the values in words in a similar manner we could also use the or logical operator it has a formula on spreadsheets so say for example this column P or this quantity so let's let me show that this is equals or open parenthesis and I click the column of P and then its value in quotation that's T and then a comma then I click the second column Q or R equals in quotation the value is true close quotation and then press enter it gives you the result in words and then you can drag the formula notice the change of my arrow there you go it gives you the result in words okay so last column would be the operation for the biconditional we are pairing this column and this column so this column is biconditional to this column as long as they are the same it should be true so they are the same the same the same the same the same so the rest should be true so as you can see the result is a tautology and once again if the result is a tautology you were able to prove that the given statement is logically equivalent so there you have it ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching